Rebecca from My Darling Cupcakes, and today it's all about spring. Easter is right around the corner, and all you guys I know are having brunches and spring luncheons, and that also means dessert. And of course, my favorite cupcakes. So today, I'm going to show you how to make these cute little homemade bird's nests. They're very springy, and the best part is they are very easy. Today, all you need is a few simple ingredients. I'm gonna show you how. This is so quick, so simple, and they look so spectacular. Your friends are gonna be absolutely amazed. What you need for this is just a Ziploc bag. Um, I've already gone ahead and cut the tip off of it. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it in just a second. You need a glass, and I'm sure a lot of you have already heard this handy tip, but I will show it to you just in case you haven't. Some store-bought bought canned frosting. I use chocolate frosting, but if you don't like the chocolate frosting, you can always get the vanilla frosting and just add some brown gel food coloring. And of course, you need your star, the jelly beans. That's gonna go in these little nests and make these cute little robin looking eggs. So, let's get to the nitty gritty. We're gonna open up our can of frosting. I'm gonna take, and this is, I thought was a cool idea. I just used the plastic tips that you can buy in the store. They're about a dollar, a dollar fifty, and you get three or four of them. So this is a really good deal, so you don't have to go to a baking supply store and get the metal tips, just a plastic tip. And the best part is, because it has this little lip on it, it won't slide out of the bag as easily as, say, a normal rounded metal tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this in here, slip it through the hole I cut previously. And you're going to want the star tip, these little prong star tips here, because that's going to give you your nest effect. I'm going to put it into my cup, and this is where the little handy tip comes in, because you've only got two hands and it's kind of hard to negotiate a bag in frosting. You just set it in, make sure you flip over the Ziploc bag over here like this. Take your frosting. And be a little bit overly generous because it's a lot easier to just squirt the frosting back into the can than it is to put more frosting in the bag. I have learned that over the years and it, this is definitely more helpful. So I think that's good there. This is here. And you guys are not going to believe how simple this is. Come in zip up my bag a little bit and of course you want to leave a little bit of it unzipped over here because you want to let some air escape. Squeeze out the air and come in on here because you're going to want to get a close-up look at this. You're going to squeeze down in the center just a little bit and just come around and then come up over that first line and pull. And right there you've got your nest. You can always kind of come in and squeeze that in. I'm going to show you one more time. Squeeze a little dollop in. Come over. And it's okay to go very slow with this if you'd like. And there you go. There's your cute little nest. Now to really top this off and make it look really stunning, you're going to take some jelly beans over here. And I got the fun little speckled guys, kind of makes it a little bit more extravagant and nest-like. And just place them right in. Any old fun way. I'll do that over here too. And you can make these as wide or as small as you like. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. But I just thought these were perfect for spring. And you know, I saw these in a store and they were selling about eight of them for five dollars and you saw how quickly we just made them and how easy they are you could make 50 of them for five dollars now over here you see i've got some finished products these have been sitting in the fridge because this kind of frosting is really great if you put it in the fridge it'll harden up like this and if you put it on this parchment paper and maybe use a spatula or something with a flat lid even a, a butter knife to get these off comes right off and you can plop them right on your cupcakes or your cake or anything as always i'm rebecca from my darling cupcakes if you have any questions or comments or any other video ideas you'd like to see me do hop on over to our Facebook page at www.facebook.com backslash mydarlingcupcakes and be sure and check out our website at www.mydarlingcupcakes.com. Have a great day.